comes Andrew Woods. Yeah, Andrew. Oh man, Austin, Texas, what a town this used to be, right? <laughs> I wouldn't know, actually. That's just what I hear from people who have been here longer than me. Um, I moved here not too long ago to pursue my dream of being part of the problem. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's working out so far. Um, I love doing comedy. It's great to be here. This is a lot better than my day job. Uh, some people don't really consider it a real job, but it takes a lot of work being a stay-at-home son. Uh, it's, it's tough. I have so many chores. Uh, I'm 27. That's not old, uh, but it's probably the oldest I've ever been. And, uh, but I don't normally feel old. I don't look old, but I, I feel old when I go to the skate park. I skateboard. That's how I stay active. Uh, but it's weird. I've Noticed now, I'm usually one of the oldest people at the skate park. Uh, I'm starting to get aged out, I think. I've had to take on more of a mentor role <laughs> for these kids. Um, and I found out something that made me feel so old. Did you guys know that kids who were born in the year 2000 can drink alcohol? They just need me to buy it for them? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's the, the law is the only thing in between them and a good time. This blows my mind. They love it, too. They're good at it. Especially Connor. That kid's crazy. Uh, the way I see it, these kids are going to get their hands on alcohol one way or another. I'd rather it come from me, so I know they're safe, and they know I'm still cool, right? I'm not... I ain't no narc. Um, I went on a first date recently, and it was going well for a while. This girl was very cute, very sweet. I liked her a lot. Uh, but halfway through, she did something that really annoyed me, kind of let me know. It was so bad, I was like, I'm, I'm not going to pursue this relationship any further. Uh, we went for the traditional Vietnamese noodle dish pho. I'm sure you're all familiar with pho. <laughs> How do you think she pronounced it? Uh, no, Pischetti. <laughs> she, she called it Pischetti. <laughs> I was like, how old are you? And she was like, this many's. Uh, <laughs> She was 30. Uh, I, uh, I took an Uber to that date, like Uber and Lyft. Um, I know before I got to Austin, Uber and Lyft both left the city because I think the city wanted too many regulations on the drivers or something like that. And I do think there should be some regulations on the drivers. Like I don't think you should be able to drive for Uber or Lyft if you're a middle-aged white lady who drives a minivan because I showed up to that first date looking like my mom dropped me off. Um, and I always sit in back, so it looked like she doesn't let me sit up front. Right? And you know those minivan handles? I couldn't figure out how to open it, so she had to come around and let me out. And, worst part, I give every Uber driver a kiss on the cheek when they're done. I'm not gonna stop now, she was great, five stars. Um, I, uh, everybody here is probably on Netflix by now, right? You guys on Netflix? You on Netflix? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is fun. I think this can tell you a lot about somebody. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas? That's my middle name. Um. Did you, you plan this? Um, <laughs> Thomas, if you had to pick, what would you say is your absolute favorite Netflix username and password? <laughs> <laughs> I was, shh, 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 shh. Uh, don't say it out loud. You can't just give that information to strangers. Um, just jot that down for me right there. The only reason I'm asking Thomas is because my last Netflix login uh, broke up with me a couple weeks ago, and I have to find out how Stranger Things ends. Uh, no spoilers, please. Oh, good, you're done. All right. Thank you, Thomas. Let me just make sure I can read your handwriting. Thomas, the proud racist at gmail. Thomas. <laughs> You think you know a guy. Uh, I could even say this password out loud if I wanted to. Uh, you know what, Thomas? There's some really eye-opening documentaries on Netflix. I'm going to put them in our queue. Uh, I, think, I think there's some things you, you need to see. Um, 
I think that uh, people who can sing really well show that shit off a little too much. Uh, I don't know if you have these coworkers who just sing throughout the day. Uh, even if they have a beautiful voice, it's gonna get annoying no matter what. Like I think God gave us all gifts and we should show them to the world. If you gotta know the right time and the right place. Like I have my own talents, but you don't see me, I don't know, eating pussy at the bank. Right? <laughs> uh, thank you guys, I'm Andrew Wood.